This is Joe Jenkins. I'm going to demonstrate the installation of a uh, retrofit burger snow guard. This happens to be a stainless steel heavy duty. We also have them in copper, standard duty and heavy duty. We also have Goff brands. They're all the same. They have a shank with slots. You slide up under the slate and hook on a slating nail. You can find the slating nail by reaching up with a ripper hear that nail. Two nails for every slate. By reaching up and tapping the, the nail like that, you loosen it up. Then you can go up there with the snow guard shank and hook it on the nail. And that's all there is to it. You can install these quickly on an existing roof. That's the purpose of a retrofit snow guard. It installs on an existing slate roof. If it's, a, if it's a new roof, there are all kinds of other snow guard types that will nail on as you're putting on the slate. But once you have an older roof or an existing roof, you really should use the retrofits. They're the easiest, easiest to install and they're also removable. Some of the mistakes made when using these you can't nail them on top of the roof. You can't nail them in a slot and caulk them or tar them. Uh, conceivably, you can nail them in a slot and put a bib in there, but it's a hell of a lot easier just to hook, them, just to hook it on an existing nail. The biggest mistake, not using enough. You have to use them every other slate in at least three courses. If you're not using that many of them, you don't have enough of them, and you get a bad snow and ice year, they'll pull out, they'll pull the slates out with them. So if you use them correctly and install them correctly and use them in adequate quantities, they last uh, essentially forever. They're inexpensive and they're easy to install. We have another type of retrofit that slides up. It's a mullein and hooks over the top. Uh, which does not require nail placement uh, considerations. Um, but uh, this, this is our most popular selling and easy to install retrofit snow guard right here, the burger or the golf.